Uttar Pradesh Higher Education Department prepares 10-point grading system for three UG courses. Good afternoon and warm welcome. You're watching Education News Network where we get you the latest developments in education at the top of the sub. This is Nithya reporting from ANN and the daily stories are The Higher Education Department in Uttar Pradesh has prepared a 10-point grading system for three UG courses, BA, BSc and BCom in state universities. The move is in accordance with the NEP and aims at assessing learning goals. Principal Secretary Higher Education Monica Garg has asked universities, including those run privately, to implement the grading system. As per the system, a student scoring between 91 and 100 in any course or paper of any major, minor subject, co-curricular and vocational subjects will be awarded a grade point of 10 and grade letter of O that is outstanding. Subsequent grade points will be awarded on the basis of scores obtained by the student. Those scoring below 33% in major or minor subjects will be treated as failed with grade point zero. For co-curricular and vocational subjects, the passing percentage is 40. Job-oriented courses will have a maximum score of 100, with 60 for training and practical work, and 40 for theory papers. Minimum passing marks for these courses will be 40%. However, irrespective of the student's result in the odd semester, they will be promoted to the even semester, whereas in the even semester, students who have passed minimum 50% of the credit papers, both theory and practical, in both semesters, and those who have scored 50% of the credit papers of major subjects in both semesters, will be promoted to the next year. For promotion to third year, a student will have to pass the requisite 46 credit papers and qualify co-curricular courses. For internal examination, there will be no improvement and back paper. No student will be allowed to appear for the back paper of two previous semesters simultaneously. Based on the number of credit scores in a specific course in a semester and the grade points scored, a semester grade point average, that is SGPA, will be calculated. Using this SGPA, cumulative grade point average, that is CGPA, will be evaluated. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Education News Network. For more such videos, do log on to our website, theann.com. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Signing off, this is Nitya.